Wow, it's already live. Ah non, diffusion direct. Wait, is it on? Vous êtes en direct. Test the song. Do you guys hear us? But is it on your or correct one now? No, it's on this. Are we finally yeah. live? <laughs> Benny has had a royal battle with this camera. Well, the whole setup of trying to use a regular camera connecting to the light to the computer. And for some reason, it has refused to work. How is the sound? Is everything okay sound-wise? Because Benny spent three hours trying to make this work and it literally started working mm, four and a half minutes ago. I'm afraid to touch anything. I want to take a picture. <laughs> yes, okay. Everything good? Super sound, sound is great. Sound the main is question, perfect. is the quality better now that we have a regular camera and not a webcam? Looks I'm, I'm gonna insane. Let you no, it looks insane. I will look at the comment and <laughs> okay, you can focus perfect. on the camera. But it's too many comments appearing, like well, usual. You know, one of these days, I have a goal with the live sessions. It's to actually start one and say, hello, good, no, good morning and welcome. Instead of saying, oh, is it working? Are we live? Uh, yeah. uh. But now I think we're live. So uh, welcome to today's live session because today we are doing a live because I was uh, curled up in the cinema room for the last week. So we didn't do anything. And as I said on Instagram, for those of you who wants to comment, well, Benny can do a vlog. If you don't, no, it, Benny actually put some work into these vlogs. Like it's like, you know, 24 seven uh, tunnel work. Meaning that if uh, I am off for a week, it's probably a great thing for him to, you know, have a uh, have normal life. Yes, thanks. So once we have that out of the way, I actually have a, a few, I figured that before we start running um, questions that we see here, because they're so fast and hard to see, I actually have a, a bunch of questions from Instagram that I screenshotted. So I figured we can start off with that a bit. Wow. Yeah, zoom, how modern. You can zoom up, so it's more center, yes. And well, as you can see, we are currently in Monaco. We uh, uh, got back here two days ago? Yes, on Saturday, no, Friday night. Yeah, so we made it back here because um, the people uh, out there who is interested in motorsports know that there it is it is the Monaco. I think keep thinking, oh, we can cut. I'll just repeat yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> so whenever Monaco. I say something wrong, I'll just restart the sentence halfway and we'll just cut that out and kind of uh, piece it together. But yeah. that we can't do now. Um, I was going to say that as some of you might know, we have the Monaco Grand Prix coming up this week. So that is why we are back here in Monaco, because that's something we don't want to miss. We are now true hardcore F1 fans. And I just finished the Drive to Survive series, and I'm a fan as well. Uh, it's, uh, oh. it's good. Yeah. I, I kept trying to push Ben. I'm like, no editing. You have to watch this. Uh, finally made it. But the first question is actually pretty uh, um, a pretty funny, interesting one. There was one comment saying, um, how do you deal with, let, let me actually uh, read it more accurately. Two seconds. So sick. The fuck is um, there is uh, Hugh uh, Pliot777 says, hey Hugh, an interesting theme to talk about. I'm a shy person and you are an insp inspiration to me. I look at how you talk and act in front of a lot of people. So my question is, how do you feel when everyone's looking at you and how do you act so confident and calm? would love to hear some nice uh, recommendations and advice. Well, when, when we're vlogging, walking around with the camera, I feel so awkward that uh, usually at airports, I try to find a bathroom or somewhere where there's no one around. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think you can get used to this. No, I, I think, I mean, before I, I started doing all of, all of the things I've done, I used to think that the worst, like when I had the event in Aura, I had, uh, you know, we had an event with 10,000 people coming. We were 30 skiers risking our lives. But the one thing that made me the most nervous for the whole weekend was grabbing the mic and saying, hello, my name is Jun Olson. I'd like to welcome you to this event. Like that was the scariest part. So I think the only way to overcome shyness is practice. And uh, I, I still feel really shy. And yeah. so if, if sometimes we seem, I, I think, Shyness can a lot of times be confused with uh, arrogance. Like sometimes when you're shy, you don't really want to talk to anyone, which mm. can make you seem arrogant. True. So, um, I mean, it's more shyness, you, yeah. you came in the sort of celebrity world a couple of years ago. And I remember the first day I did the, uh, when I did, when I took the camera and I had to do the vlog in Cannes <laughs> and I was walking around like, oh, fuck, that's like horrible. Everyone's looking at me like, 
I was walking on the closet like normal, trying to present. I'm, I'm like I can't do this. I can't do this. That was horrible. I remember no. this. Like yeah. I speaking of being like, shy, for me to walk out the street, if anyone sees that I'm holding a camera, I choke up and I can't talk. Yeah. It is the most awkward thing you can possibly do. And if I am talking, it's actually easier when you hold the camera because then you're talking to someone. Low battery. Oh, it's at zero percent on my computer. Well, let's hope it doesn't die then. No, I eight. Perfect. Nine percent. We're back. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe we are not as confident as we sometimes seem um, when it comes to yeah. having half a million people watch is fine. But if you have four people watching, it is awful. And I, I tend to just like a couple times I wanted to start a vlog and I keep walking from here and I try to see, you know, when can I start the vlog? And oh, yeah. I end up starting it like halfway to, to cup die because yeah. that's the only time I find where there's no people. Practice makes perfect. Damn, this is hard. Exactly. Um, so, but I thought it was an interesting one considering the fact that I don't think I'm very sort of. We have 6,000 people watching live. 6,000 currently? Yeah, 5.9. That's a lot. Okay, second question. Um, well, um, since I did say that I've been designing a lot of Cinemal products, please talk about some upcoming Cinemal products. Maybe give us a hint on when the web store is launching soon again. And. Basically, we are working out a few tech tweaks on uh, the website, but we are planning to launch a um, pre-order because we have no idea how many people that actually wants this stuff. So we are going to do a pre-order of the things we had. Um, well, the stuff that I, I'm really a bad uh, ambassador. But if you were in the hoodie just before. True. So we're doing a, a pre-order here pretty soon, yes. um, hopefully a week or so. Uh, and then we have a whole bunch of new things that we're working on that I would say hopefully in June. Hopefully. Can we show it? No. Now that my brain works again, we can actually, like I've been honestly super, super slow um, for the last uh, four or five months. So uh, hopefully that gives a little bit of indication. We're working on a lot of new things, a lot of fun things. Um, everything from swim shorts to um, headphones, boxers. boxers um, a lot, of a, lot of, a lot of a lot different of things. things, and then we actually have uh, a fairly big stock of uh, women's stuff with uh, summer things, bikinis and swimsuits and gala pants. Uh, we have Yanni's actually hanging out over there. Oh, I think she's shy today. You can turn the camera. Do you, do you think we? Yeah. No, it's super messy here. No, it's fine. Hello, Yanni. I'm, not I'm just I'm just scared to uh, <laughs> to move and, this thing around. Yeah, let's not unplug this thing. Okay, so lots of things coming um, very please, soon. Please, headphones. People are super excited about this. Yeah, I did some really sick headphones. Can we? Do you have some? Uh, no, we're not sure yet. Yeah, we can show like through. There are some of the highest quality ones. They're super uh, sick. Like big DJs are using those. Can we show this? Yeah, let me put. Sorry. I wish you could just cut out the clumsiness of. We see that. Oh, is it gonna focus? What? Oh, it's focusing. I was just some uh, initials. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, the beauty of life. So just uh, a couple just initial brief. sketches, trying to learn how headphone design works, because uh, you always have to start with that. Um... Just checking what camera was. Yeah, it's uh, the little one. Um, we have a bunch of new questions here. Yeah, so I have a, a few more. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I think a lot of people are curious what's happening to the Aston Martin and what, what about the problem that the fact that the one that was here was sold. So uh, a lot of things have happened, uh, a lot of unexpected things, but a lot of good unexpected things because we uh, um, were actually having a discussion with Aston Martin. So instead of uh, us doing the tuning ourselves, we have a discussion whether we can actually make that from factory. So that is a, a slightly bigger process to get started than uh, just doing it ourselves. But that is why I haven't um, bought a car yet because we're trying to figure out uh, a few details. But we have a meeting hopefully this week so we can see what happens there. But that, it, it still sounds a bit too good to be true, the fact that... Uh, <laughs> if it's happening, there's going to be... Very, it's very cool. Um, so I'm just holding off to see what happens there before uh, we do anything, uh, um, do anything with that. Yeah. Here is an interesting thing. 
If you lost all your money and your businesses, what would you do? What would you do to get it back? I mean, what business would you start to make money? Do you have any idea? Well, can I do the same thing I did? Well, I'm too old to be a pro skier now. Um, it's a really, really tough question because. Yeah. Would you still like try to do business, or would you like go and travel somewhere and like, I don't know, like live in Lombok or surf every day? Well, you still need an Money. income. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of ideas, so I like bringing ideas to life. But the uh, good thing with what we do now is that we have a huge reach with you guys, making it quite a bit easier to start up businesses. Um, of course, building this following took uh, 20 years of very hard work. So it's not something you can sort of just create again, but then you'd have to just make better, smarter products. And yeah, I, I just like developing things and trying to figure out how to do things that I like, but do it a little better. What would you do? I would, <laughs> if I had to restart anything, I would just, yeah. But you, think, you can't do the same thing. No, if. Well, you, I mean, you could be like, hey, I am Benny, I need a new, new filmer. My old filmer is gone. <laughs> Why can't you do the same thing? Well, I mean, if everything was gone. If everything is gone. Yeah, but the question is, like, would you do the same thing? Come I guess. Camera. Yeah, but I don't think I can fit. <laughs> yeah, we, we have a super <laughs> wide if, angle. No, it's not that if super if I had nothing else, like if if I had to restart, yeah, it's super. Yeah, I think the question is if you oh, want, like if oh. you want to do the same thing or. No, I think the question was more if you couldn't, like if you had to restart. Yeah, if you love what you do or not. No, it was the question wasn't really. It was no, more like okay. I think directed to how would you do yeah. to come back to uh, mm -hmm. where you are, and if you had oh yeah, if you had nothing. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I, I have to say that I'm very happy with where life has taken me so far because it's given us a ton of opportunities. Oh, take it easy. It's not going to give more life, I think. Nice. The downside with what we do is that we, uh, the, 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 one of the best things is we don't go to work, but one of the, the hardest things is we never leave work. So it's very hard to define a border between vacation and uh, well, relaxing and uh, work, working. working. Yes. Yeah. Um, hold on. I have a couple. Couple more here. Bear with me. I'm a little slow. Um, when does the Lombok construction start? It's um, it, all of these things take so much time. We have been trying to work out all the contracts with the architect and all this, but we have the architect and everything's good. We just need to get the paper in place and uh, transfer sort of a um, a down payment so that they are safe to start. So and also draw it, no? Yeah. yeah. Transfer down payment to the architect. So oh, he okay. it. Um, here, I think this is a good one. Could you talk about your impact on the environment because of the frequent travels and the many cars um, you have and how to minimize the impact? As you might have noticed, the amount we have traveled in the last six months is probably 80% less than the in the last year. So we have tried to really, really, really scale back on the amount of traveling we do. And now if we fly, we try to, you know, pick the right airlines. We try to do direct flights, even though like now flying from Marbella, there was only one direct flight per week, which we're really happy that they actually started flying. Yeah. And um, it was, nice. you know, it was not the uh, ideal timing, but we took the direct flight in order to make that good. And in terms of uh, cars, of course, the G-Wagon I have downstairs is not the most environmentally friendly car you can own, but the amount of kilometers that I put on that thing is, I mean, I can't even remember when I fueled it up last time. And then Marbella, we have the golf car. Golf, cars has, golf car has done three and a half thousand <laughs> kilometers. Oh, crazy. That sounds a lot, like <laughs> back and forth from here yeah. to Marbella. With only the golf cart. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy, no? Sure, and then we have minutes. the birds out here. And um, yeah, but here we I walk. take the train to come. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we always walk here. We uh, eat, uh, I mean, you're fully vegan, vegetarian, yeah. and I have, I, I eat a little bit of meat sometimes, but probably 80, 90% of what I used to is gone. Yes. Um, Most everything locally. 
the food is uh, yeah, exactly. try to pay attention to not buy some food coming from the other side of the world. Yeah. Checking where the potatoes and where the apples are from. Yeah. Um, Don't buy fruit if it's not the right season. Exactly. And then by starting Center Mal, we can hopefully try to provide uh, us and hopefully more people with clothing that's more sustainable because we try to use the sort of most expensive, best fabrics that are sort of that made their way from wherever they came in the best possible way and also lasts you as long as possible. And for the upcoming new things, we have actually taken it one step further and we're using leftover fabrics. So fabrics that the factories have sitting on shelves because say Nike, they ordered 100,000 meters of fabric and they used uh, 98,000, giving us 2,000 meters to work with. So we're trying to really find ways in the business of how to work with that. And we are working on new packaging with Cinemal to eliminate as much plastic making um, the volume of what we ship as small as possible so um, i would say that a year ago we were terrible mm -hmm. now i think that we are honestly trying really hard yes let's yeah. look at the comments like does that make sense or do we seem like like with the boat as well like having a big heavy boat means lots of fuel having a very light sort of a boat that's designed to go fast and with the electric hybrid drive, uh, something that does not exist on the market today, I'm hoping that we can help push the uh, boat industry, the boat industry yeah. to try to become better. So, uh, yeah, it's not about stopping everything. It's about choosing the little things that can make the change and make also people change. It's about in innovation, I think, yeah. not uh, forbidding. And I think we are still, I mean, with the work we do, we have to travel a bit, but we can cut it down quite a bit. And I think, I mean, my attitude towards flying is, Changed quite dramatically, I would say. Yeah. So many different questions. That's the problem. It comes in too quick. That's why I wanted to do a, a couple here. So we want some more on your list. Um, what is your personal why? Why do you do all the things you do? And and not only to say to have fun. There's a deeper meaning in all the things you do. Mostly coming from your childhood and teenage years. Much love from Germany. Um. I think my why is insecurity. I am always constantly worried about how future is going to work, how I'm going to continue to be able to have the freedom to do what I want to do. So I think that is my why that I am trying to sort of protect my vision of the future. Yeah, that's a good why. Same for, but you're not worried. No. So I'm what's not your worried. why? <laughs> I'm not worried either. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not worried because like you don't need that much, you know? No, but what is your why? Like, why do you work? I mean, so Yanni probably spends the least amount of money in the history of the world. She's not worried, yet she works on every Saturday and every Sunday. So I'm, I'm going to ask, you know. Yeah, what's on, your why? Give us why? A... Because I like working and I like feeling that I do something. You like feeling productive and knowing that you do your best. Yeah. I'm translating here for Yanni, knowing how she works. Yeah. yeah, but it wasn't that what I said. Yeah, but... Uh, and also, of course, to have a, a good future. Yeah, but I don't think... Like, I don't think about money, but of course you want to have a safe future where you don't have to think yeah. about money. Maybe everything that you do is helping for the future, so... Yeah, yeah but it's not like I'm saving up for something. But no. It's, no. It's more to have, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have a proper why. No, it's good. Like she's more simple than my brain. Because sometimes she, I wish I had an office to go to because it feels like people are you are like made for going to an office at work. Because <laughs> otherwise, what <laughs> but should that's you the do? feeling you get when you don't go to the office. Because if you go to the office every day, you wanna. Yeah, but what do you do then? Else. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes no, it feels like come back to the to I mean, hard that, that, to separate like work and normal life. I could yeah. actually see that I uh, my screen on my laptop broke down. So oh yeah, I have the guts here. <laughs> yeah. Can we see? Yeah, yeah, this here. Screen. So I had to plug an external screen yeah, in order to. Uh, you you went out by this, yeah, external screen to actually work some more. Yeah, so and the thing is that I can't move the screen, so now that is my office over there. Now yeah, I go nice. sit there when I work, and just doing that little bit makes a difference. So it's yeah, really I nice. My computer there too. And what about you, Benny? Let's What's hear your, your why. why. I don't have a why. I'm just. Uh, we are pretty pretty similar there. Yeah, I think I just like wanted to do like I mean if if you say three years ago I wanted to 
travel, explore some more, and uh, and do videos, and that's mm -hmm. what I ended up doing. So yeah. then I'm happy, and then I think yeah. <laughs> and why do you continue? Ah, oh, because we have. I mean, it's not about just making videos. We have cinema, and we have so many different stuff going on at the same time. So it's a uh, it's so many projects that are interesting, and the fact that we can, I don't know, like, yeah, it's an infinite type of project. You we don't, don't have really, a limit into yeah. the video. We don't have a limit into like we have to stay here. We have we're so like, um, it's hard to explain. We're so able to do many things that it's yeah. that's what makes it interesting. The yeah. boat, the car. It's not so. It's not because of money. No, no. I'm very bad with money. <laughs> I don't really care about money. Um, yeah, you're really bad actually. Yeah, that's not my, that's for sure not my why. I think that's uh, that's for sure not my why. Yeah, no, I think so many people that I meet that have become successful and good at what they do, they are not driven by money. They're driven to do what they do as good as they possibly can, yeah. uh, because that will ultimately, hopefully, create uh, a future and uh, safety for the future. Yes. Yeah. Well said. And then I think uh, I have a couple more. Shouldn't you take some of them? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go, YouTube, but then they come so quickly, yeah. but I, I wanted to make sure that I got these in. Um, what's happening to good old Ricardo's boat? Oh. <laughs> okay. It looks like it is being sold. Oh, I even so saw the sad. jet skis on the pier, so the thing is, it's gone. Because the jet ski were like- I don't part... think it's gone, gone, but okay. he's like testing it and doing things. Okay. Yeah, so that means um, we have a, summer boat issue because that leads us into our next question which is how is your boat doing and it's going super well the problem is we you have no limits when it comes to building a boat so we have done more and more and more and more so we have currently pushed our date to between mid-august to early september so when, when is when was it supposed to be finished in the beginning well i mean when Before we said summer. when we said june May. people said that we were completely insane oh okay um so it, it's um, a little later but still quicker than anyone's ever built a boat like that before okay so we have a boat issue for the summer yeah, so if anyone the out there has a 60 and above boat that we can rent for a month for you know if you have any oh, a full month but for the whole summer yeah we need like formentera if, yeah if you have if you have any <laughs> friends that have for huge boats weeks. I'd love to rent a big sailboat. Does even, anyone even, have no. like a Does it need to be in Formentera Ibiza or should it be anywhere? Could be in the I prefer Formentera again. I mean, if we have the choice. Although we don't want to travel. Oh, yeah, true. Somewhere. So if you have <laughs> any yeah. like a, hun a hundred foot Wally sailboat, that I would love to spend but who a week can on. drive that? Then we need a crew. Yeah, but my dad, he's my dad, my if mom you and drive dad. drive a hundred foot. Uh, they never rent those without a captain. So yeah, I, I can pretend. It's nice if we rent a smaller one then. <laughs> without the captain. <laughs> no. So we can be captain. Um, I actually didn't talk much about what type of surgery it was that I was doing. So when we did the full body scan of scanning everything from uh, veins in your brain to your heart to everything, they found one cyst here. So I have a three centimeter cyst here, but they also found one in between my ribs, which uh, this one I can't feel. And they did the test and it's not a bad one. And this one, they haven't actually tested, so I, I just... Oh, no? No, so I hope it's not bad, that would... But now oh. it's gone. But you know, they say, like, if you have at least more yeah, than exactly. one, it's usually not a, yeah, an issue. Yeah, it should be okay. But uh, my back issues does not come from uh, the cyst, but if I was laying down, I could get this, like, intolerable pain. So that's why I wanted to have it removed. Should we start oh. disgusting? I haven't seen it yet. No, it looks super good. Where is wow. it? Wow. Yeah, we can see it. Oh, uh, but it's so dark. No. That's the one. Oh, that's like the, the stitches are inside. Yeah. yeah. Good job, guys. The, the doctors. <laughs> good job, guys. <laughs> Wait, I just have to check what we are. Yeah, we're at 39%. You guys talk for a second. I gotta get water. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, I need some water Hello. as well. Hello. Okay. Um, do we have any question for Yanni? Because she's the only one here now. Any question sure, for what? Yanni? What? You're here too. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Now everything is exploding, I think. So. Mm -hmm. No questions? Oh, wow. Yeah, it comes too fast. It's impossible to. 
Really Why does the emojis look Whoa. so weird? Yeah. <laughs> any vlog, any? Do you still vlog, any? Yeah, every Sunday, but not this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the first Sunday in like a month yeah. and a half. I didn't post. We anything. all took a break this week. It yeah. was a tiring break, especially for yeah. him. But uh, it's a nice excuse but to rest. But haven't, haven't you seen my vlogs? I post every Sunday. True. Except for today. So I think we should head over to uh, whatever we can find comment-wise here. I've seen a lot of comments about Gumball, but it's like like all of those Gumball, 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 Gumball. Huh? Who is still talking about Gumball? Okay, so yeah. we have yes. no plans uh, to do in the Gumball. It was super fun when we did it. I did it for so like six four years. Four years ago, five years ago, we did. Yeah, and I mean it's fun, but at the same time, uh, it's tiring. If you've done it for a lot of years, it's. Um, I think it was more special back in the day because it was a smaller event, so you know less people and you could drive faster. Yeah, but also a bit same, same, no? How yeah. many times have you done it? Five. Sounds like enough. So uh, that hopefully answers that. I think it's fun, but uh, we have yeah, too, yeah, energy and too many other projects. If we are doing gumball, that means that we probably won't have any new center mall things coming. Oh, I saw some stuff about Yay Trade. Ben, Benny's head is so big out there in the corner. <laughs> so my ways to... Okay. Let's, yeah, maybe let's talk about the Monaco G GP. Who are you guys wishing to win on Sunday? Do you have any preference? Okay, I actually, you want to hear my predictions for Sunday's race? Oh, maybe Lewis will win. I have a prediction. No, I, I, okay, here's my prediction. Yeah, you had a good theory last time. Bottas, Hamilton, because Bottas is so hungry to beat Hamilton and he's on a roll, so I think he's going to take it. Oh, okay. Bottas, Hamilton, Verstappen, because Verstappen is doing really good, even though the car's a bit tricky for him at the you moment. You know, this is Leclerc home stage. Yes, but Ferraris have not been doing well on slow sections of tracks so far in the year. So that's why I have Leclerc in fourth. And Vettel in fifth. If we have Germans, I'm sorry that I put Vettel behind Leclerc. But I think. Lenny, we can ask you, how do you say Leclerc? Leclerc. You say Leclerc. 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 Not uh, Leclerc. No. <laughs> Charles Leclerc. <laughs> Charles Leclerc. 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 And then I actually have Magnussen on sixth, Gasly really? on seventh, Science on eighth, oh. Grosjean on ninth, and Paris on tenth. And Ricardo? I really want Ricardo to do well, Me but that really like damn him. Renault car is just sucking. Sorry, France. Yeah. We Sorry, really, Alex. like, if we if we could just wish one person would, would win as a person, it'd be Ricardo. Yeah, I really yeah. like him. We like Good you, Ricardo. Yeah. He, he won here last year. Yeah. True. And we weren't at the Red Bull station. But that's my prediction. First year. Yeah, we're going to the Red Bull station this year. Yes, we're watching it from there. But you got to be quicker at finding questions, otherwise we are... It's, I mean, so many questions, but not so much interesting questions. Sorry, guys. Yeah. What's the name? Yeah. Wait. I have a couple How's more here. French? What car are you getting? Uh, maybe the plans regarding your boat and whether you really want to take it across the U.S. to the, uh, across the Atlantic to the U.S. and set the new transatlantic record. So, yes. I would love to do it. It's just I haven't really figured out how to do it with fuel stops because the uh, planning that would have to go into making fuel stops work uh, would be extremely expensive. So that is sort of the main difficulty there. But there is a record from London to Monaco and from Venice to Monaco. And those, I don't see a reason why we should, shouldn't try to beat those. Yeah, it sounds easy. You probably need a few stops on the Yeah, yeah you need stops, but you don't need them in the middle of the Atlantic, yeah. so that yeah. makes it easier. Um, what happened to donating for charity for every late vlog? Well, we have saved up, I, I don't know the actual number, but we have about 40,000 euros saved up for charity. We just need to make sure we find the right project for it. And yes. setting up a charity fund um, is not... That's because Richard was working on that, and I remember he said it was being more difficult than it should be. Yeah. So not forgotten, and I'm gonna get 
Until the next vlog, I'm going to tell you exactly how much we have in our charity fund at the moment. What about Skillshare? People ask when the thing is going to be online. When Benny's Skillshare editing class is going to come online. Um, I think that Skillshare had a bunch of new things coming in the next 10 days. So I think they wanted to release at the beginning of June. I think so as well. I think beginning of June. We're waiting for the yeah. final. It's um, it's exported and ready, right? It's just it's uh, re fully ready. Yeah. I have it on my computer. Just waiting for a bit of formatting and uploading and all this stuff. But beginning of June. Do you have any more? I have another one. Oh yeah, go ahead. You said once you were gonna buy a uh, Lamborghini Urus. What do you what what made you change your mind? Um, First, I loved the idea of an Urus, but then I realized that no one had yet to crack the uh, IC, uh, ECU of the car, meaning you couldn't tune it, basically. And that put me off. And then there were so many things happening with both and all these different things that I kind of just, nah. And then I saw them coming out, and even though I think they look great, they're, they're not as Lambo as I wish it was. And like Yanni says, it doesn't look that special. And I can't have a car that doesn't look that special. <laughs> yeah, but don't listen to me, I don't know anything, of course. <laughs> no, but, uh, but uh, it actually, I agree. I, I wish Lambo's SUV was a bit crazier. But I think they're gonna come out with the, a, uh, like a, uh, kind of like a track version of the Euros yeah. from what I've heard. And that might actually be very interesting. Maybe this one is interesting, but it's a bit like the one we had before, but what would you do if both YouTube and Instagram was not existing anymore? Yeah, it's, that's, that's a bit like same, it. same, yeah. Um, another question here. You did a vlog when you were testing the LMP, LMP3 car and you were talking about um, sort of trying to become a professional racer or, you know, really race. And basically time happened. It's something that I would kill to do. Like driving a race car on the track is probably potentially the most fun you could ever have. But the amount of time and money that would have to be spent doing it makes it um, not as easy to do as you wish it was. No questions? Come on, like come up with some creative like. Yeah, that's not, you know, have, have you, no pressure. I, I, can, I can read any of them, but they're like, have you, have you been skiing in Austria this year? No, no, I have not. So try to think of like I think that's the fun thing about these um, something that has a live sessions thing. that you can really ask for whatever random thing you could possibly think of. And people are asking about Lombok, but you explained it before. Do I have a girlfriend? No, I don't. <laughs> See that he skips by. <laughs> no, he like zero. Huh? No, I don't. But I've, there's been a lot of texting ah. back and forth. What do you mean? With girls. Girlfriend. Ah. Yeah, but it yeah I mean, I, no. I, I a bit of flirting, some, maybe? I had some flirting and so Maybe he doesn't want to talk about that. No, but nothing is serious. So I it's can't a live speak. session. Ben is part yeah, of it. If I was blog. dating someone, I wouldn't want to spoil it. You too. Maybe I can, I can say her Instagram. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> should I that. say it? No, I won't. No. I think you should say it. No, Go no, to no, Benny's no, no. Instagram and tell him he has to say it. For yeah, poor her. Yeah. And you. Um, I have I uh, another question here. Excuse me? <laughs> what? I don't care. He's trying to sound cool. <laughs> Do you think you'll reach a point where you're satisfied with your success and can sit back and enjoy them? Or do you believe you can keep driving and pushing yourself for more? I think the problem is that the more successful you get financially, the more uh, expensive, um, the more expensive your lifestyle becomes. And I think my goal is constantly to feel that I am safe for the future, but sort of the better you do things, the more things you can do, and then you change your definition of what sort of safe means to you. So I think, I think if you can figure out how to be more successful uh, business-wise financially, but not increase your spending, I think that's when you um, feel good. So we're trying to work on that. Interesting one. Is uh, the Maria house fully finished or do you, do you want to modify anything or change anything? Good question. Since, mm -hmm. since uh, we now have it's energy again, let's rebuild. <laughs> uh, no, but as you know, the, the entry to the house, the driveway, does not, you know, I can basically not have another car than the G there. 
so yes, we are uh, basically when we left there, they were going to start to hammer down the entrance. So once we come back uh, for the summer, we can see how how the progress is. But the idea is to make the entrance completely new, um, and I think it's going to be really good. And then there's a whole bunch of little things. Yeah, like the bathrooms. We haven't changed. Yeah, yeah. some little tweaks. Yeah. But we're and trying to be like you know smart with it, so yeah. it's not too much. Yeah. But entrance, that's important in yeah. case the whole Aston thing works out so that we can actually have the car there. That's an interesting one. What, I mean, for me, what culture has amazed you the most from all the countries you have visited? What's your favorite culture that you've been visiting? I mean, I would say Indonesia. Like, would say uh, yeah, Indonesia. Everyone is so happy and kind and nice. Yeah. What about you, Yeri? Yeah, same. Same, same. It's the only yeah, you arrive at the airport. It's like everyone, ah, yeah, super happy. Um, Bugging iPhone. <laughs> Trying to get the questions. Yanni, can you think of any questions to help out with here? We're barely sitting on all the questions. Yeah, but if you can one. just think of anything. How about the pole we can't, but no, Aston Martin. <laughs> what camera do you use? Benny muscle car. So then you're not answering the question I asked. No? Okay, what move, move. You uh, you're, you're now. What camera do you use? We use the, not this one, this is Yanni's. Fuji X-T3. Yeah. Best camera there is. That's Yanni's camera, very good really for photos. It. And videos. And videos, but we use the Sony A7R3. You've been using it for a while. Yeah, for a while with this lens mainly, which is the <laughs> the focus is not working. The 16235, yes, 2.8. But yeah, now we mostly use this little guy, which is the A uh, 6500. 6500, yes, mm -hmm. because it's lighter and you can do selfie cam way easier than with this one. Mm, so that's the one you use most of the time. Yeah, mm. for vlog, vlog. Exactly. But if you're on high res, we have this, and all the lenses are compatible with both, so we can use and switch camera easily. And we still use the GoPro Hero 7 Black a lot because that's the, the best we have for little action stuff. We have the guts here to. <gasps> yeah, but I, I sit there in the corner and it just looks really weird. <laughs> I have a question. That's what did. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to. Do you want to go in the middle now? No. Okay. What is your best tip for waking up in the morning and work so hard? Benny. My tip to work, oh yeah. <laughs> First, to wake up quickly in Marbella, the best way is to go into the pool, but if you don't have a pool, is to go into the shower and always finish with cold shower. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing this for but like- You don't wake up quickly. No, <laughs> but if I, that's my trick, like if, if, I yeah, had to if you pick, have a flight or something. Yeah, if I have a yeah. flight or if I have to be ready, yeah. either working out or going to the, the, the shower and finish with cold water. Yeah. yeah, which sucks when your friends want to have a shower and you uh, go don't in there and it's really after. cold. Ah, true. Yeah. Yummy. What's yours? Yeah, but I don't have any tips because I never. I always wake up early by myself and I never snooze. So. Yeah, you always wake up. <laughs> yeah, so she I, always set the alarm and at 7, 7.30 and you wake up 45 Six. minutes before. Yeah. Six. 15? Yeah, that's not me. So I don't have any tips. I'm sorry. That's just me. Go to bed early. <laughs> Boring. But yeah. True. I mean, if I could, I'd go to bed at 7.30 at night. Like, oh, nights oh, are no. just useless. They're a waste of time and no, they're boring. No, the opposite. If I could sleep at 7, perfect. Um, but in terms of waking up early, uh, my routine, uh, I'm not saying it's the best one, but wake up, go straight to the bath, have like a 45-minute bath, because that way you're kind of slowly waking up because you can't really fall back asleep in the bath. Warm or cold but that's bath? Not a, uh, I just have a tiny, no, I just have a tiny bit of water and then uh, it's like a very relaxing place to check your emails to see what you're up against uh, through the day. And then you go downstairs and you have a coffee. Yep. Now we have three tricks. If you guys want to try, tell us which one works the best. Yeah. No, you guys look there and talk. I look here. Okay. Otherwise, we're all looking. Another here. tip: if you can't wake up, you put the alarm outside your room. Oh, that's the, so you the have first to thing. Go yeah, up. and you have also those apps that are where you have nice to go to... take a photo of something yeah. and like <laughs> do a spin, like three spins, stand on your one foot for 
20 seconds. No, I've never shown any videos. Yeah, because even... then you really have to, because then you will wake up. Okay. So your app won't start. Or ah, stop. Oh, I, never, I never even heard of this. Yeah. Maybe no, I'm it just won't really stop beeping until you do all these things. That is weird. So that's like torture. Um, I see a weird thing here. Um, how is Ricardo's wellness center in in his basement? Is it done? Have we not showed it? No. Oh, and I said I wanted to try it and I didn't try it. No, we didn't film it. We, when we were oh, we, there, filmed... we didn't film. Okay, but we filmed a bit. I'm we... sorry. We'll, we'll just we... have to show that we when we come back. We weren't there this time. No, no, that was last time. When we arrived the first day, we came in and I think you said we already showed it. And I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, so then I think we skipped it. Oh, sorry okay. about that. We're going to have a look at that really soon here again. We want to do yeah, we're going to do proper session. Back soon. So is Richard getting a new yacht now? Now we should have Richard here uh, <laughs> answering to this. You FaceTime him. Ba basically, he is torn between being financially smart and responsible for the future and between being Richard and wanting a boat now, 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 now. Yeah, but I've never seen him without a boat. So. Yeah, it'll probably be a day or two after he sells. Yeah. But it, yeah. It, he doesn't but want... what type of boat? Yeah, that's the hard thing. I've been trying to push him to get a Wally 47 because those are well priced and they're they're sick. I think they're mm. coolest for, for what they are. Yeah. Wow, so those are the ones. God, they come yeah. up so quick. The 47 was the one we were on in Bartofino, right? Yep. The one with one cabin, one in the kitchen, yeah, one nice. toilet. Yeah. So it's not too big, but you can run it by yourself. Mm. Well, 40 minutes, guys, and you're still oh, here. Really? Oh, wow, even more people, 8,000. Woohoo! Yeah. So okay, I'm on board. No, don't don't look here. I'm uh, uh, I'm the. It's so tricky. I'm yeah, the organizer I'm now. There all the time. <laughs> no, you guys look in there. Talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> um, Did you watch the Drive to Survive now? Okay, yeah. there's so yeah, many people that are that tagging earlier. me. I fin. Oh. No, so I finished on the I... flight here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. True. Finally. Yeah, because I recommended it in my blog, and then so many people, mostly girls, are tagging me when they're watching. Okay. So if you haven't seen Drive to Survive, yeah. watch it. I mean, if, but you, if you liked it, that means anyone yeah. can like it. Yeah. Um, how do you deal with anger management? Does anyone here have any? Any? I'm probably the, the angriest person here. Yeah. And I think running is the best. Oh. If you're really annoyed and you're stressed and you're just do a marathon, then go running. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not angry that often, but when I am, I feel like go boxing. Yeah. Are you ever angry, Benny? I can't remember last time I was angry. Look at this. I've been, I've been working Benny. on the computer for three hours to try to make the. Oh, my uh, anger management. I, I know exactly angry. what I do. What do you do? I get quiet so the person understands that I'm really angry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you get anything food, anything. Yeah. Here, here is the secret I'm going to let you in on. Benny never gets angry besides like once a year. When and then he angry. completely loses it. <laughs> yeah. I like take my computer and... Yeah, I thought you were like, about to when you were going towards the staircase today. Oh, no, but I, I was, was like, like, this is... Yeah, you were happy, but yeah. I didn't know. I was like, uh oh, what's this going on? <laughs> I struggle with the light so much with this camera. Yeah. Okay, here's an interesting. Uh, yes. Everybody pick up your phones. Oh, no, not this oh, one. No. I've been bad lately. How much time do you spend on your phone? Uh, Per day. I'm <laughs> Wait, where is it? You check. I'm gonna that? be the worst now because we yesterday we were just on the couch. Where yeah, Where do you check it? I don't know how to check this. Remember, it's weekend. Guys. I don't know either. <laughs> oh, come on, these I'm guys so know. Uh, uh, but you guys know where? You always show me where you check it. Uh, I think it's in the cities. Think he's trying to act like oh, they yeah, don't know. I'm this morning actually because it's Sunday morning at nine that it tells you. Good. Can someone tell me how to find on your phone how much? You go into screen time. Why don't you tell me that? Settings, screen time. Screen I time. Want to see, I don't want to say I get excited. I'm not going to say. I don't. <laughs> I said uh, but, an but hour. Why, look, mine doesn't say anything. Cheating. Now Jan takes the phone thinking I am technically incapable of anything. No, this is what mine did too. I don't know if it's settings. No, it doesn't work this week, apparently. No, but mine never works. Mm -mm. Sorry, guys. Do we watch uh, Game of Thrones? I love Game of Thrones, but we have saved up yeah, because we, we can it. find it here. Well, you can't watch um, HBO in Monaco. Can okay, you explain? So, but is it only on HBO? Yeah, you no, guys I have any tricks? 
to watch it. Hmm? Do these guys have any tricks? Yeah, but I want to save it for the cinema in, Mono in Marbella anyway. Oh. So if yeah. you have the whole last season, uh, so if you if you plan on, I think it's only like six or eight episodes. Yep. In total. But we have to watch like. The I the last personally episodes. don't watch it. Oh, you've never seen anything. No, I've started oh, like the you. first three episodes and then I give up. Lucky you. I'm not into this. It's a waste of time. Look, now you're looking here again. Yeah, but what should we talk about? Um, oh, life. you have a nice case, Yanni. Yeah, right? On your phone. I have one. Use the two. code Yanni to <laughs> <I'm laughs> <I'm laughs> <I'm laughs> Okay, like here's you. a good question. How do you know when you uh, how do you know when to stop doing all the work yourself and hire someone like filmer, douchebags, and so on? Yanni, why don't we start with you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer to do it myself. Everything herself. Yes. Like I like she to will make not my own get... invoices. I like to do everything. See, that is not smart. So No, it's not, but I like it. Yeah. I'm a control freak. That's not good. No. Why not? It's very I'm hard to find great people to work with. But if you can find great people to work with, it is the best way. But uh, my recommendation is if you feel that you need help, spending a tremendous amount of time finding the right person to work with is so key. Mm -hmm. yes. Like I'm still upset that I didn't spend more time trying to find a good filmer and now I'm stuck with yeah. this guy. <laughs> Two years and more. <laughs> no, but anything that you can replace it with someone makes you able to do something else that you're maybe better to do. So and remove all the little stuff that you can't do, <laughs> that you can do, but you're not the best to do. And, uh, Why I'm laughing is because Yanni is really bad at this, but Benny might I'm be also, the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I, I, I should, don't hire I, I'm like, Benny, what, why don't After we... After two years, I should hire another editor to edit for me. No, especially and, for music or something. Yeah. yeah. But this is because I'm very picky into music. Exactly, same. But I'm that's the only thing I'm Yeah, but about. you could have a person that would look through everything, remove yeah. the, the bad, Shame. and give you less to look through. True. But I've been but, trying to get yeah. these two to um, increase their team and try to make make it easier on their life so they can do what they're good at so they don't have to do a bunch of things that other people that's kind of my my philosophy that i should not be doing something that someone else could be doing just as well because yeah. then i can focus more time i mean but i'm good yeah. at everything yeah but that's yeah, why good at everything. <laughs> but the question is someone else can't go out and take photos but someone else can make your invoices we're, we're never like going to agree on this so we no. don't have to keep discussing no, it I like no i agree but i yeah it's nice to be in control of your life. Yeah. Anyone wants to edit the videos for me and then I... Yeah, yeah what do you <laughs> Or like say music selection or... What advice would you give to someone who is struggling to find his purpose in life? How would you... Ah. How should one find its purpose in life? Wow. Do what makes any... you happy? Yeah. Yeah, do but, but any... if you don't know that... Do you have any passion? Is there anything that have interested you in your life? I think that's the best way of doing things that you feel an interest in, interest in. And then, of course, you might have mm -hmm. to tweak that interest a little in order to make a living out of it. But yeah. it's a super hard question. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you can spend a long time in your life without finding it. But oh, maybe if you haven't found it yet, go out and explore a bit more, do stuff that you sh were not doing before. Yeah. So maybe you can find something new. Because if you haven't do this sport, for example, just try, try new stuff. Yeah. And don't be afraid to open your head to untraditional thinking and things. Because sometimes life tells you to do, you know, things a certain way, like yeah. dropping out of school, like I did, is probably not what you're recommended to do. No. But for me, it was the, uh, the right thing to do. And I did studies and I, and I almost regret it. Yeah, but so now you're promoting not studying. No, yeah. no, no, no. If no, you no. have a job, then you need to study. If you want the job, <laughs> I'm, you need I'm to not study, the biggest study. fan of schools. I think most time in schools are wasted. And I think that it's a very sort of small group of people who should study because it's a small group of people who actually need mm -hmm. school in real life. I loved school. Yeah, but you thought it was fun, but you've never but used you... your, your grades hmm? ever. What? You stop after high school. Yeah. Oh. But I good grade. Yeah. Loved it. <laughs> Love to go back. <laughs> or if you are yeah, if you're bored at school, just go to another school in a different country and then you go yeah. end up like learning new culture and new language. Yeah. So at least you do something. 
What else can we say? Where did you buy your golf cart in Marbella? Goria. Goria. Fantastic. It, it actually worked incredibly yeah, well. Yeah, but the battery, I'm not super pleased with. No. We changed battery and it didn't really get better. Hmm. I've seen more and more guy on the street. Like it's, oh, it's, yeah, there's yeah. even a gold one. Like, I think like, we started a trend. Yeah, it's, I it's, think we started a trend. Like the guy had the, the exact same one. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. And to drive it as like a normal car. I yeah. never saw that before we started doing it. That's good. Um, I saw an interesting question uh, in regards to how Douchebag started. The, uh, how did you found it? Uh, founded it? Uh, how did, did you, you find look for, it? Did you look for <laughs> outside funding or what's your tip? We, I met Trolls, who I found a douchebag with, in the surf in uh, Stutt in Norway surfing. And in Stutt, no one surfs. So if you see someone out there, you're like, hey, how are you? Like, you start talking. And Trills was at entrepreneurial school, and he was looking to figure out what to do as his exam project in school. So he asked me, do you have any ideas? And I said directly, ski bags. Ski bags are useless. Why don't we make ski bags? And so he kind of started it as a school project. And our first run of products was 500 bags. And we sold those and took that money and ordered a thousand bags. And then it kind of grew that way. So we have, we have taken in a little bit of outside funding, but it's more been about taking in outside knowledge uh, than the actual funds. So I like to grow things organically because if you take in money, you set expectations and that creates stress and you can't really produce things the way you want to produce it. Like with Senamal, we have no pressure for anyone. It's just a matter of, you know, if we don't want to sell something because it's not good enough, we can just not do it. Yeah. yeah. So starting small, small, and then building. In, it but takes with an idea. Time. Yeah. And there's so many business starting with like the exact same, like let's make, I don't know, I don't want to say anything in any example, but the exact same and they, take a factory in China, produce the thing, and they try to sell it, and they try to find the marketing way yeah. to sell it. But st start if you have a, like an innovative idea, something that changes. Or change if you have a tweak on an existing product. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard to come up with completely unique things, but if you can come up with things on how to tweak a certain product, I think that's a, a nice way to do. And I completely failed two or three business ideas before douchebags. So your first business idea is 95% of the time something you're going to fail in, but you're going to learn. So I think that doing something small and learning and trying to figure out how to do it is, is a great way to do it. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. I do agree. Would you please make a bag that fits perfectly as a handbag when going on a flight? Huh? Hmm. For a boy or a girl? Well, it was a guy, but it, I've been looking at the same uh, idea for women. And but what do you mean? We have bags that fit perfectly. A handbag. Ah, okay. Okay, like uh, a computer bag or when do a guy... Or like a like handbag, I was thinking... Like the, 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 the handbeska, hand purse. That's purse. what I was thinking. Okay, man purse. Hmm. No, I was thinking women's purse when I read the question and I thought it was funny because I've been working on one. Yes. Oh, let me take the battery. What's more important when starting a company, a great idea or good business contacts? I would say 100% a great idea because business contacts you can always find. You can't yes. just find a good idea. We also need a good team, I would say. Yeah. I mean, you don't need a team. Hmm? No, you, you, have, you do everything by yourself. Yeah. Thirteen percent on this camera. It's gonna. When spend. did you start the live? An hour ago. Oh wow. Four, yeah, fifty-five minutes. Oh. Wow. Um, why have you guys designed a fancy, uh, a fast, fancy boat rather than a comfortable and relaxing like Mister Deller's? Much love from Denmark. Um, so my idea was to try to combine both because. We, the wider the boat is, the more comfortable and the more things you can fit in it. But the wider it is, the heavier it's going to be and the more fuel you're going to consume. So I wanted to look, I mean, if you look at race boats, they're built like that to go easy through the water. So I wanted to build a fairly narrow boat because that is much less fuel efficient or much more fuel efficient. So um, 
that was kind of the idea and then try to make the most of the space that you have within a narrow boat that still can take you very far um i mean the weight i think richard's boat is enormous it's thirty six thousand kilos and my boat is about five and a half thousand kilos so obviously there's going to be a big difference obviously yeah, obviously and that might be double engine so electric so you can still cruise and not go super fast here is someone with a very creative question no i'm not going to say yeah it. yeah huh there's someone who really wants to smoke weed with benny it's going to be a problem since you don't smoke weed yeah sorry guys <laughs> do i look like Where someone that do? smokes weed? <laughs> Maybe. And we don't yeah we don't live in california or in where can no. you smoke weed holland yeah um, I really want to start up my own business, but I'm struggling to really come up with a great idea of uh, business. Any tips? So the way I come up with anything I come up with, it's based on my life. So if it's me sitting uncomfortable, I think about the sofa. And if it's me slipping in the shower, it's creating a grip for the bottom. So I think just thinking, how can I come up with a business idea to make money? I think that's not how I like to do it. I like to look at what Makes well, life easier. Prove. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you're trying to do something that you don't know anything about, it's hard. But if you Yeah. If you don't don't think about how should I start a business. Just think about why would I need to improve my life and then make a business out of this. Yes. Don't because people are just thinking about, oh, I want to I make a, want I want to, to make a business. business. Yeah. So maybe I can get money. Yeah. No, just find something creative and innovative and then and then if it's innovative enough, then you're gonna make a lot of money if it's what you're looking for. Yeah. Exactly. Question, how is, what is your summer plans? Viva España! Maria. That's kind of our summer ritual. Once sort of the Grand Prix is over here, we kind of pack up and we head to Spain for about a month, um, two months. Well, our summer, which is super nice because Monaco in the summer is very crowded and very warm. Yes. So if you want to go on the beach here in the summer, it's packed. packed. Yeah. It's and cozy here though, it's beautiful. Jumping in the pool in Marbella is it's the best. It's the best. Yeah. Best way to wake up. Oh, with Marbella is nice. I mean, and you have your family. Yeah, the only thing is the boat plan. No, but this is we will we'll find a boat. I have full faith that we have some good followers here who might want to have Team Overkill join them on their 100 foot, 100 meter oh, boat. Join them. And why not? 100 meter boat. No, why not? Okay. Um, okay, I have a question here. Can Benny prata svenska? A little. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. That's the only thing I can say. Little Little grann. Yeah. Ordning och reda, pengarna på fredag. Pengarna. Pengarna på fredag. That's the only thing I can say. You no, can I also say... I... Oh yeah, shabba tjena, hello. Yep. Yeah, say you yeah, so. You sound so Swedish, that's the scary yeah. part. Because I've been listening to you guys for a long yeah, time. That's true. Uh, question, explain the hybrid system a little more. Um, okay, so electric boats, they're starting to come around a lot less than cars, but it's starting to come. But in order to have an electric boat, you need a shipload of um, kilo when it comes to batteries if you want to have a range that is pretty long basically on the boat that I have about one ton of batteries would take the boat for about two hours in 10 knots so if I would want to do 30 knots it would probably take me 10 minutes on 1000 kilos so my whole idea with the hybrid system is that I have my regular engines for when I want to go far, but I think the boating industry is not seeing the fact that so many times in Marbella, we go to the boat, we anchor up, we go out and we go 20 minutes and we throw the anchor and we swim and we play. And the battery you would need in order to anchor up, go out, anchor, swim, come back is according to my calculations, about half a ton of batteries. So that means that hopefully about 50% of the days here when we're just gonna go out and swim, we can just use the electric drive. And then if we wanna go further, we can use the regular engines. So that is the only difficult thing is how to engage and disengage the electric drive. 
that's kind of my uh, idea to again question the use of something and, and seeing how something could improve uh, the way you use the boat. Yeah, yeah. So here you could go to so many places just yeah with electric. Yeah. A lot of yeah, you can go to Plage Mala yeah. and like all these places. But the problem is that no one has done this, um, as far as I have found with my extensive Google search. We meaning we have to kind of develop this system ourselves. But that's all the more fun. Yeah. Here's a nice business opportunity if anyone is a mechanical engineer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any I sun panels on the roof uh, on the boat? The amount of square meters you would need to do any difference with that is enormous. So we haven't really planned on it yet, but what we do want to have, uh, or we are going to have is magnets inside the drive shafts. So if you're going by regular engine, you can actually use those magnets and recharge the batteries because then you can actually make a big difference recharging wise. Yes. Yeah. How long are you going to do the light? Um, what do we have camera like? Um, I think it's less than ten percent. We just reached an hour of like six percent. It's gonna cut by itself. How do you feel about fans coming up to you and taking pictures with you? So you at Marbella Airport uh, <laughs> when you came from Stockholm, but I was too afraid to say hi. Oh, no, you should. I think whenever we are just hanging out and doing things, we love it. It's you kind of. I mean, now we're sitting here talking to a camera, but it's actually quite a few people that are watching. Yeah. Because yeah. if I look at the 8,000 people that are currently watching, and I think of the crowd that would gather if all you guys were sitting up, and now that would be way yes. scarier. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But the only times we don't appreciate it is when we are at home, and if we are eating. So if we, yeah. if you see us at a restaurant, please wait until we have finished eating. But if you see us doing nothing, then by all means, do come and say hi. We are we're we're not dangerous. We're pretty. I'm a bit dangerous. Yeah. Not too bad. <laughs> People are so afraid of Yanni. Like they'll stop me to say, "Do you think I can have a picture with Yanni?" Yeah. Like, why? She's right there. Yeah. Do I look scary or? Okay, quick, tell me here. Does Yanni <laughs> come out as a scary person to approach that I, I think do? Maybe I come yeah, out as a bitch. Yeah, who's the scariest? Do I come out as a bitch? No, 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 no. It's just a more of a you're intimidating, wall. maybe. I have a wall in front of me. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Is that what they see, maybe? A wall. Yeah. Like this is my zone. <laughs> Don't intrude into my zone. No. No, that would seriously be yes. very interesting. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What are they saying? That I look, I, oh. I'm a bitch, or that? Uh, it's yes, yes, yes. She yes. looks serious. It feels like we know you better than her, I think. She's too cool for us. Yes, wow. yes, yes. Wow, Yanni is too cool. <laughs> no, wow. Yanni is great, beautiful. Of course they know you better because they're watching your videos. So head over to my videos and check them out and you will know me better. Hello. <laughs> I'm too cool for them. <laughs> um, no one is cool. Here's either. an interesting one. Um, what do you think of Instagram and all the negative things uh, that comes with it in terms of uh, Instagram kind of offering people a, an unachievable look of the world and, and the amount of screen time it offers. I would say Instagram is changing. Yeah. It sucks. I hate it. It's boring oh. as hell. Okay. I, I was going to say I, the opposite. Uh -huh. uh, I would say it's changing towards people are not putting filters. People are just posting random shit like before. Uh, at least the accounts I follow. Still like nice photos, but more True. like, oh, I can take yeah. a photo of uh, my feet than a bookstore because I'm in a bookstore now. Like it, people don't care anymore. It's still like at the very top where uh, people are like fighting to get the best pictures and stuff. You I still think, have those accounts. Yeah, but it's like... That's why I changing. haven't posted in like months because yeah. I don't think that anything I ever take is good enough. But, yeah. uh, but today I posted that uh, surgery selfie and I think yeah. maybe that can be it's the not. turning point of my Instagram yeah, I'm going to start poor in, in images, but actually yeah. post. Same. I'm going to start uh, before I had an app like planning my feed. Oh, yeah. Oh, you still use this? No, my, my sister and I in the podcast, we were like, okay, because she's like, I'm spending so much time on this fucking mm. app. I'm like, okay, but let's delete it. Yeah. Let's not care how the feed looks anymore because no one cares. 
True. Yeah. Absolutely. No one cares. I mean, they no, but it's like your your it the feed. It's like a portfolio. Your, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah you but when you see how people watch your feed, they go in and then they click on the other. Yeah, but I don't care about like building the account. Would or you not engaging. follow someone because the feed was? Up no, there. no. But for me, it's just my personal. I want to show my portfolio of my pictures. So and it's then not. It's not, not to follow. No, but it, it has nothing to do with that. Following wise, it's just me. I want it to be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, but I'm the same. So maybe I've been thinking about starting a secondary uh, account so that you can have one account where you just do a bunch of random things. Yeah. And one that is nicer. 3%. But I also three oh, percent. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm we gonna not care about the Instagram. 3%. You just post, guys. You should just post whatever we feel like. Absolutely. I will believe it when I see it. Well said, Jenny. Yeah. yeah? Huh? Have you checked my feed? It's not That's in it. order anymore. It's yeah, like I, random I, and messy. No, no, I said yesterday it looked nice. Yeah, but it's messy. No, it looks nice. It's super it's nice. It's naturally though. nice, Jenny. Exactly, because I don't care about it's it. It's not like 46% green mixed with uh, X percent, uh, something like this. Huh? You, I didn't no, but you have like, no, no, it needs to be a clean with a lot of green, but a bit of blue. No, but it's uh, really like every other picture is blue if I'm in a blue mood, and then every other picture is some green or some red. Yeah, but I quit that now. Yeah. I don't do that anymore. Now I can post two blue next to each other. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. But before this camera dies, we're, we we have to say uh, uh, good night to this little live session. Yeah, that ended thanks up. to all of you guys, uh, all the 8,000 people. That now was we're insane. in six minutes. And I'm wow. not too cool for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come and say hi. Scary yeah, yeah. Yanni. When I when I first met her, I thought she was way too cool for me, and I was really scared of uh, like I'm like no. I, I will never yeah, but okay, so you have the same feeling. Yeah. Did you okay. have the same feeling? No. I still remember the way she danced, and I'm like that girl's like way too, too hot cool and cool for and... school. No. Kidding. Yeah, but just <laughs> I'm not... cool. Like, um, I'm like I'm not that cool. But with those words, we're gonna end the, the live session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now that we have a working camera, we can maybe uh, do some more. Maybe do a bit more. Maybe uh, if we can get this setup working, we could do, do a little daily. bit at the. Uh, <laughs> no, but like <laughs> actually do, like do a little live session at huh? the Rebel session at the Grand Prix. Yeah. Yeah. Can we bring? We're, we're, we're going to try to. Do no. No. The Wi-Fi is always sucking during the the Grand Prix because yeah. it's uh, like yeah, so the many 3G. people in the future. We'll yeah. see. We'll we'll have a look and we'll see. Yeah. But please tell us in the comments what we can do differently. If you like these live sessions, I know you prefer vlogs, but we. I know what we can do. You can like cook at the same time. Oh. That's nice. Yes. Do a live while cooking. Yeah, but then yeah, you, that's on your channel. you burn yourself. <laughs> out. Like, then you need like a moderator. That. It's zero percent. Zero okay, percent. I'm not lying. Okay, see you soon. I'm going to arrête la diffusion. Diffusion. Shh. Yeah, wait, ciao, ciao. I think he's going to show. Yeah, I'm not lying, guys. It's on oh, you don't uh, zero percent. Further away. Zero. This thing is zero percent. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Ciao! Tell us what we can do uh, differently and better next time. Yeah. Hope you liked it. Have a great Sunday night. Yes. Shootles. And be aware of the Yanni. She is a scary one. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's the better. Fin